Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of this brand new series here on Planet Coaster. Now in this new series we're going to be building the first ever vintage park uh, that I've ever made and that's going to be on the channel. We may come back, build a second one in the future, but yeah we're here today back after a couple of weeks since the last visit to Planet Coaster where we were still continuing the Christmas park which has now been postponed to next Christmas. Christmas, which and so we'll be finishing it uh, in December time this later this year um, but yeah in this new park you'll be able to see loads of old classic vintage rides uh, lots of different buildings um, and overall just that vintage feel uh, of what I really wanted to go for with this park of course episode one hopefully trying to get around 15 episodes in this park um, that's really what I'm trying to go for. 15 episodes seems about reasonable. If it's more, uh, it's more, isn't it? But uh, yeah, we want it to be about that long. And then we'll, after this series, we'll dive straight into a new one where we will pick a new theme for the next park. Uh, so yeah, as you can see there straight away, it's been a while since I've been doing these Planet Coaster videos. So, you know, it's getting back into the, you know, the mood of doing them. And I'm really enjoying making these videos for you, uh, as you all know. But yeah, we're here. Planet Coaster series, what, th I think, well we can kind of say this is the first kind of official series that's going to be finished on the channel, so let's call this, um, let's go with series 2, uh, this is this is series 2, this vintage park, seeing as the Christmas park is still going to be finished, um, but yeah, series 2 of Planet Coaster, uh, it's been absolutely fantastic coming back on and playing the game after such a long time. It's been before Christmas now since we played it, so yeah, still quite a while since we've been on this on this park. Um, but you know, it's been it's great to be back and playing this game, um, and really, you know, having a fun time playing it uh, for all of you. Um, but in this episode, you'll see in around three to four hours of gameplay sped up, uh, which I have been doing uh, today, and I'm recording doing this voice overlay in the evening. So. Uh, that's the thing that's going to be happening uh, throughout all the episodes and you would know if you've seen any of the epi epi other episodes of Planet Coaster here on the channel. Um, I will leave a, a link in the top right hand corner for you to go check out some of the other Planet Coaster episodes if you, ch if you wish uh, to. Uh, but yeah, you'll see here, I'm going to add in the entrance to the park. This is going to be a really, I wanted to make it a really nice grand entrance. Not too massive of an entrance, uh, but still quite a, you know, a chilled, calm uh, entrance for guests to enjoy as they walk through. Uh, we're going to have different vintage signs on the walls. Uh, we've got loads of different plants, shrubbery, trees going all around this entrance. And it really is a lovely entrance to this vintage park which we're going to be building. Uh, now, as I normally would do at the start of, uh, the, of the Planet Coaster series, uh, I would explain what we're going to be doing throughout this series, uh, which is what I'm about to talk to you now about. So, um, in this series you'll be seeing, uh, as I've mentioned before, this entrance in episode 1 going in, uh, and a later car ride going in uh, after this entrance. And then we're going to be heading into, in episode 2, uh, trying to build some more rides around there, adding in some more scenery. We're going to try and focus really a lot on scenery uh, in this one, and a lot more buildings going in as well. So that's another thing that you're going to be seeing, a lot of vintage buildings going into this park. Uh, and that's really going to be a key focal point of this park uh, here in the game. Um, of course you've got the big lake feature in the middle, that it was kind of just added in um, at the minute just so I know uh, where to put things. I may keep it, I may not, because uh, I'm not wanting this park to be a massive park. Of course vintage parks are quite uh, compact together, quite you know close together. Um, so we're going to try and you know keep it quite original with vintage stuff, uh, but you never know. I might kind of have my own twist on vintage parks. Uh, so you know I might be um, having that lake in the middle and then having the vintage stuff around it. Um, but another thing we're going to be having in this park is a uh, is a garden, a bit like Ocean Towers. Uh, I've seen a few other YouTubers do it as well. Um, I really want to make a lovely, beautiful garden in Planet Coaster which guests can walk through 
an experience at night as well, have all the different lights up in there and I really want it to be a, a lovely experience for guests uh, to have. Uh, so that will be going in probably around episode 6 or 7, uh, not sure, we're going to have a few cable cars going over that gardens, going over the gardens as well, uh, a couple of roller coasters going in, a few wooden ones, maybe a bobsled as well, I think that might be vintage, I need to do a bit more research don't I, um, but uh, you know overall it's going to be a great park and I know these colours here look quite vibrant and quite um, uh, bold but actually once you have all the you know plants around it, pictures on the walls, it actually uh, fits really well and of course throughout the park we're going to have the main vintage colours, red, blue, uh, yellow, colours like that. Um, but of course uh, this one I wanted to be a little bit more of a vibrant colour for the entrance and then uh, for the other areas they're going to be a bit more of a faded red and blue if that makes sense. Uh, I wanted it to be not as um, I wanted the entrance to be quite bold and grand and then we have the rest of it kind of fading out a uh, nice, nice style like that. But yeah, um, moving aside from Planet Coaster then, 2021, a happy new year everyone. Um, of course we've only uploaded a few videos this year. Um, of course I had my birthday the other day as well. Uh, that was the other day, 8th of January uh, is my birthday. So you haven't seen a few videos uh, come up in a while for that. Um, but yeah, now we've had the new uh, TPA Vlogs room that's been built, uh, where we've got all our theme park merchandise in, where I'm recording this video right now for you. Um, it's like a new recording studio we've got uh, that we can use to film all the videos, which you'll see an upcoming like kind of tour around it. It's not the biggest of rooms, it's a decent sized room to fit stuff in. Um, but yeah, you'll be seeing a tour come up on the uh, channel sometime soon. Not sure when, there's still the last few finishing touches uh, to the room, uh, f you know, until it's properly ready. Um, but definitely stay tuned, you'll be getting a tour coming very soon. Um, but yeah, a lot of you have really enjoyed Planet Coaster uh, when we've uh, uploaded it on the channel and I want to thank all of you for your support on it. Loads of comments coming in on the Christmas Park, that's really drawn a lot of you uh, viewers into the channel. Um, so thanks so much for you know coming along, subscribing and everything. Um, really means a huge deal to us here at TPA Vlogs. Um, but yeah, Planet Coast, you really are enjoying it a lot of you. That's why I wanted to bring it back, uh, do a new series on it. Um, so that's why we're here again today doing another Planet Coaster. Um, so yeah, it's been uh, it's it's been tricky kind of deciding what type of park we were going to do. It was either going to be kind of like a studios park, and this vintage one, or I was thinking uh, something along the lines of like a spooky park. I was trying, maybe trying to build a Halloween park ready for Halloween uh, later this year. But I, I decided to go with a vintage, not too big of a park, uh, but still a lovely park to work on. And it's going to be a really enjoyable experience working on this. And of course, when the park is done and finished, I will upload it uh, to the Steam Workshop for you to be able to download if you have Planet Coaster and then you'll be able to download that and add any changes that you guys feel uh, that should happen in the park or yeah, added any new rides, uh, change some of the way the park's been laid out uh, you, you can let your imagination run wild so yeah, I'll, I'll upload that to the Steam Workshop when the park is finished obviously uh, and then you'll be able to have the freedom of you know being able to explore with it and uh, mess around um, but yeah, adding in there just some of the column pillars uh, on the building and now I'm going to be adding in some of that kind of carnival decoration trim along the top of the roof. But um, 2021, yeah, big year. A big year for everyone, of course. Uh, aside from theme parks, we've had the COVID vaccines being released. Um, we've got the other vaccine that's been approved, uh, the Oxford one. Um, so much has already happened this at the start of this year uh, and so much more is going to be happening later we're going to have so many more v videos coming up on the channel for you so many more vlogs I can't exaggerate how many you're going to be getting um, we're going to be visiting double even triple the amount of parks we visited last year heading over to Blackpool Pleasure Beach really looking forward to that hopefully heading over to some of the foreign parks this year hopefully heading over to Port Ventura that's also depending on Covid as well if you can travel we'll hopefully be heading over there and um, 
Major trip, as I've said many times on the channel. Major trip coming up in 2022, a year to look forward to, is um, going to be, of course, Disneyland Florida and Orlando Florida, and also a couple of others like Bush Gardens. That's going to be a really big American road trip for us. And um, we're going to be doing loads of vlogs from the parks there. Really looking forward to that trip. Uh, so, yeah, definitely stay tuned. I know it's two, well, I say, yeah, about a year and a half away, but it's it's not too long when you think about it compared to other stuff that you might wait for. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be a really good trip, and definitely stay tuned for that coming up in a year and a half time. Um, but, of course, you know, it's been a great year last year on the channel. Yes, it's been ups and downs from COVID, um, Lots of different things happened, lots of bad things, but some good things did happen. Uh, we have went to loads of parks last year. I went to probably about 30 theme parks last year. Maybe they were some of them were the same parks. I say 30 theme parks, I mean 30 theme park trips. Um, that's that's a better way to word it. Um, but yeah, I went on thir uh, like over 30, nearly 40 theme park trips last year. Of course, I didn't vlog from vlog from all of them. I like sometimes just going to the park and experiencing it, um, uh, just without you know having the camera there. Of course, I love doing the vlogging for all of you, uh, but it's nice sometimes just to experience uh, going to the park without having to have a camera in your hand all the time. Um, so I really in enjoy going there. Um, but yeah, loads of trips. And it's like, of course, we've had COVID in the world, but lots of us, uh, we do also need to reflect on what we have been uh, had the luxury of being able to do last year. Lots of stuff, actually, you know, really good things that happened to us. Um, we actually, you know, got to see things from a different perspective. We actually got to reflect on what we have got in life and what we take for granted. And that is a really... A uh, big thing that a lot of people did reflect on during that lockdown period, and of course we are in the third lockdown at the minute, um, and it gives more people time to reflect on the stuff that we do actually have, and that we sometimes may take for granted. Um, but yeah, a, a really big uh, year last year. Lo still loads of trips, uh, of course, after the year uh, that we had, and still really enjoyed last year. Um, but yeah, as you can see here in Planet Coaster right now on the screen, you can see a lot of the plant work going in on either side of the main entrance and a few of those fences going in as well. Of course, the other plants on the other side will go in in just a moment. Um, I've put edges down in the fences first, and I've added in those nice little light archways along the path just as you walk up to that grand entrance. Uh, of course, I added those clown doors uh, just on the main front entrance, and then you've got the two side ones, which um, you just walk through uh, and get access to the park. Um, but yeah, a lot of you know shrubbery, bushes and that going in, flowers. I uh, really want this park to look really nice and really colourful, because um, that's kind of uh, what we're going for here. Of course, the Christmas park was very colourful as well. Um, be you know a lot of uh, a lot of colourful vibrance in this park is key um, to make this park a really nice looking one uh, and adding in a lot of lighting I love doing this in Planet Coaster going over doing all the lighting I really enjoy adding in all those little effects for night time as well because of course I will keep the park uh, open at, at night as well for guests in this game to experience and enjoy uh, so that'll be very fun uh, to add in some of the lighting for that um, but yeah, as I said, loads of trees and that going in. Uh, I do uh, kind of copy some of the uh, bushes and uh, flowers, um, just as I think. It's kind of, I don't want to go off from one flower to another. It's quite easy just to do that and then mix it up a bit and add in the few last little uh, patches that need filling up. And I found that quite a, a time saver. Yes, it still took quite a while to do, uh, but definitely a little tip if you do play Planet Coaster. Um, do one section of the flowering or like plants first and then go in uh, secondly and add in, uh, you know, those other bit of plants uh, that you want to add in. Um, but now, for about five five minutes, we're going to leave you with a bit of uh, theme park music. Now that we're not doing the Christmas part, we can go off and play any theme park music uh, that we wish. And today we're kicking it off uh, with the Thought Park uh, soundtrack. Really love this I'm a School soundtrack. Really gets, you know, you know, really makes me happy for some some reason. I really enjoy how it sounds. Um, 
I was lucky enough to get the uh, album soundtrack on the DVD. Um, that's really, really, really nice to be having playing in the background whilst I'm editing a video. Uh, so I have that playing on a CD player in the background. Um, I don't know if they were ever for sale, but it's quite lucky to get one of them. Um, but yeah, I have one of them in my collection. But yeah, I'm going to leave you with the Thor Park soundtrack for five minutes. And we'll be back uh, when we start working on the Vintage Cars ride. See you in a minute. So, there we are then, a bit of the Thorpe Park Island soundtrack, fantastic to hear that once again, brought back so many memories from last year, and I cannot wait to get back there and get on one of my favourite rides, which is of course, 
uh, the swarm. So here we are then, we can see the station building for the vintage cars ride is now going into place. Not a biggest, a grandest of structures, quite a basic simple one, but this is what it would have been like back then uh, with all the vintage parks. Of course, adding in that roofing uh, structure, adding in some of these nice fine details on the roof. Um, just giving that more of a vintage feel. Now, of course, uh, the vintage pack was um, a purchasable pack in uh, Planet Coast and still is. Uh, so, if you would like to, you know, ever recreate a vintage park yourself or make one of your own, um, you can go buy these uh, in the Planet Coaster store on Steam uh, or maybe even if you're a uh, uh, console now, uh, you can buy that. Uh, the packs are probably on the, if they like on a PlayStation, you can probably buy it on a PlayStation store. Um, I play it on PC, uh, but if any of you do play on PlayStation or Xbox or any whatever platform, do leave a comment down below. And I will also be needing uh, the first ride name suggestion uh, for this vintage cars ride. So if any of you do have any name suggestions, uh, definitely leave them down below. Um, and yeah, we'll have to pick a, a lucky winner um, to you know to have the name for the vintage cars ride for next episode and the first named ride in this park. But of course, uh, as you can see there, any in those laugh, lovely little details on the station building, adding in this lovely flower plant work. And as I said earlier, I really want to have loads of lights, plant work, and this is what you kind of have a vintage park. And I wanted to have my own style slash twist on the vintage parks as well. So um, very nice, adding in those nice little vintage cars around the ride not much um, props and s props going on in this cars ride it's kind of just a drive through this lovely nature uh, nice plant um, environment and get to see this bandstand here of course you get to see a few of those cars dotted around there's probably I think there's about three or four cars dotted around this uh, this whole ride but as I said earlier as well, it's a lot easier just copying the plants and then I can go back and make any adjustments if it, if it doesn't look um, if it doesn't look right. Um, but yeah, overall, um, this park's come along, you know, really well in just a few this past 25, uh, 25 minute episode. Um, but it's, it's you know it's going to be a really good really good project to work on and really looking forward um you know to the construction of the entire park and of course as i mentioned earlier um when the park is finished it will be uploaded to the steam workshop for all of you to go into uh, and experiment with be adding in those nice little trees around the ride uh, next episode you will see an on-ride pov as well um that's something I'll definitely get in the episode for you. Not sure what we're going to be building next episode, um, but I was thinking maybe a roller coaster. I'm going to add a wooden coaster in. Um, probably a coaster maybe going in. Maybe some old vintage flat rides. Not too sure yet. I uh, have to think about it. But of course, uh, this is the first ride. First, you know, I, I wouldn't call this a thrill ride. I'll call this like a family attraction. Um, but of course, it was, a, it, was, it was either this type of cars ride or the, there's another style of car uh, ride in this game as well, but I thought this one's quite um, an old-fashioned type car, so I wanted to go with this. Uh, so that's what we went for, adding in that nice little bit of terrain there around the ride, uh, kind of closing it in. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely, I'm really happy about this new part, I'm really excited uh, to work on it, and I hope a lot of you at home are really excited to watch the construction of it, um, because it's going to be really fun, really fun thing to build. Adding in a nice little um, pipe organ, I think that's what they're called, an organ I think they're called, um, putting that in there um, on the bandstand and then adding in this cue path here. I do change the colour of the cue path uh, just because it didn't really look right to me. I still need to maybe go and work on that, um, but yeah we'll have to think of something that properly fits with the ride. But I need to add a few more bits of scenery as well around the queue line area, but we'll probably do that next episode as well. Um, but yeah, here, adding in a few extra lights around the pictures, um, really trying to make it stand out at night. And this is where you can see me go around and adding in all that coloured lighting, uh, which I really enjoy doing in this game. This is one of my favourite things I look forward to after building a ride or building ri uh, like an area in the park, going out and adding all these lighting features in. I really enjoy doing that. 
But of course, we're coming up to the end of the episode um, around now. We've got about a, a minute left of the episode, and, and I just wanted to say thanks all of you for tuning into this episode. I really have, uh, in, I really do enjoy Planet Coaster, and I know a lot of you who watch it do as well. Um, so, of course, we're going to keep doing these Planet Coaster episodes. Try and get that once a week, uh, and stay tuned uh, for that. But thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if you did enjoy, please do leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.